With this Feliz Navidad, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas guitar lesson will focus on an easy strum arrangement that works well for a one-person strum or sing-along performance. With chord diagrams as well as a practice guitar karaoke video, we'll break it all down with a step-by-step -step approach. In the original recording, you'll hear numerous instruments, including several stringed instruments played together. So when you're playing on your own, unaccompanied, you need to make adjustments. And what we're going to use here for this version is a steel string guitar. Uh, they'll sound uh, fine on a classical nylon string guitar. Uh, but on a steel string, we're also going to give it sort of a flamenco-like feel by using our fingers to strum uh, instead of a guitar pick. And primarily, we're going to use our nails to strum with. Uh, you don't need long nails because we're going to use the front of our first finger and the front of our thumb. And let's start with uh, the strum pattern. And again, for a one-person performance, if you're going to sing along, uh, we'll keep it simple. This is going to be the strum pattern throughout the entire song. And starting with D, I'll give you a preview of what the strum pattern is. Down, up, up, up. And slowing that down a little bit, on the down strum, it's kind of like you're holding a guitar pick. You're sort of pinching the first finger and the thumb together. And primarily it's that first finger striking the strings. And when you come back up, it'll be with the front of your thumbnail. And then there's going to be a mute there. It's sort of like you're keeping time like a drummer. Like a, it's almost like a snare drum. That sort of snap right there. I tend to use my nails kind of heavy against the strings. You don't have to do that. As long as there's a mute, it'll work. So we have a down, up, and then a rest, and then up, up with the thumb. And again, don't emphasize the rest so much. It should sound like this. Down, up, up, up. And then there's another mute. We're sort of stopping at the strings right there. Let's do that strum pattern one more time. Down, up, up, up. Now let's do it two times in a row. One two, ready, go. Down, up, up, up. Down, up, up, up. And since we're going to use this drum pattern for the whole song, final challenge will be to do it four times in a row. If you can keep up or hang with that, then we're ready to do the chord progression. So four in a row. One, two, ready, go. For the intro, we'll focus on three chords. It'll be an open D, an open G, and an open A7. Uh, you can also use your one and two fingers if you want. I happen to be using my two and three fingers. And with those three chords, we're going to put them together in an eight chord sequence. Uh, it'll be D, G, A7, D, and then that four chord sequence will be repeated. And on the eighth measure, we're going to just do one strum, a little stop time on that final D. So on the final eighth measure, instead of going, we're simply going to go and then kind of stop that right there for a little silence on that last measure. Uh, but let's put it all together to hear out sounds. We'll do a slow walkthrough of the A chord sequence for the intro. Here we go from the top. One. Two, ready, go. And we'll do it one more time. We'll speed up the tempo a little bit more. One, two, ready. Go. After the intro, the vocals will begin, and I refer to this section as section one. It's with the Spanish lyrics, and it's a 16 chord sequence, uh, but we only have to memorize an A chord sequence because that will be repeated uh, to complete section one. So uh, there's one additional new chord we're going to throw in, an E minor, and I happen to prefer the two and three fingers. You can also use your one and two. 
uh, but for that transition from E minor to A7, the first transition, uh, I would suggest to either use 2 and 3 and just shift over, or 1 and 2 and just shift over from E minor to A7. So with that, what we're going to do is just work on the A chord sequence to memorize. Uh, e minor, A7, D, D, and then G, A7, D, and then there'll be a stop time again, just like we did on the intro with that final D chord. So let's hear how that sounds. We'll work on the initial A chord sequence, and we'll do a slow walkthrough. One, two, ready, go. And with that, that will repeat again another A chord sequence and same A chord sequence and that will complete section one. And We're going to put that all together now, all 16 chords, but one thing to keep in mind is to start syncing up the lyrics with the chord changes. If you look at the screen here, uh, the E minor, the initial E minor, comes in uh, when after he goes Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. So on that syllable dot is when you're going to land on those chord changes. So uh, keeping that in mind, uh, let's do a walkthrough now of section one, all 16 chords. Here we go from the top. One, two, ready, go. Section 2 features the English lyrics. Again, it's a 16 chord sequence. Uh, we only have to memorize an 8 chord sequence because that'll again be repeated. Uh, we have one new chord to throw in here, a B minor chord. This will probably be the most challenging chord change because a B minor is a bar chord. And a good idea before we work on uh, putting the progression together is to do a one strum of those first maybe four or five initial chords of section two just to get acclimated to that B minor change. So we'll start with the G, A7, D, B minor, and then we'll go back to G for the next four chord sequence. So uh, with that, let's work on the eight chords with the strum pattern, and we'll do a slow walk through. One, two, ready, go. With that, uh, now we'll put together the total 16 chord sequence for section two. Uh, again, we'll keep in mind uh, syncing up the lyrics as well. So uh, with this, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. So on Merry is when we'll start with that very first uh, down strum on the G chord. So let's put it all together, all 16 chords. One, two, ready, go. Once you have sections one and two memorized, putting together the arrangement of the song is fairly easy because you start with the intro and then you just repeat that section one and two uh, combination. Uh, you play that combination three times and that's most of the song. And after that, all we have to worry about now is the song's ending. 
Uh, the song's ending is essentially section one, except instead of stopping on that last D on the eighth measure, we're going to uh, sustain or strum it uh, for an ending. So let's work on the ending right now uh, with that sustained D chord uh, on the final measure. Here we go. One, two, ready, and... The final step is to put together a complete arrangement of the song, and you can practice that along with my Feliz Navidad karaoke video. And with that karaoke video, you can either sing along with Feliz Navidad karaoke, play guitar with Feliz Navidad karaoke, or do both.